as you guys come in, you're gonna be right here in this station with Dave Burke. All right, bring it up, let's go. Morning PT was a gut check, but I can't think of a better way to start every day in the muster. You find out that, well, it is possible. You can wake up at 4.15 in the morning, get down there and get after it. Today's workout is gonna be 90 seconds of work with one minute to rotate between the stations. Dave Burke's group will rotate up here to Jocko's group, which is burpees. There were, I believe, seven, you know, seven stations. So everything from you know, squats, lunges, burpees, crunches, um, jumping jacks, flutter kicks with two rounds. Three, two, My name is Joshua Gibson. I'm from a small town called uh, Amherst, Ohio, and I am a uh, master diesel technician. So my name is Meredith. I am Josh's wife. We've been together for 10 years, and we have two dogs, G and Daisy. Meredith and I met about 10 years ago when I was a bouncer at a, at a nightclub that, uh, that she came into. At that point, had really been trying to turn my life around. Years prior to that were difficult. You know, I was, I was in sales you know, during the collapse of 2008. That was a hard time. I basically had to start over. Her presence in my life caused me to want to get better and gave me a reason to look into myself and go, no, this, the way that things have been isn't going to cut it. When Josh decided to get back into technical work, that was right about the time that he first read Extreme Ownership. Since learning about Extreme Ownership, reading the books, adopting the principles, it almost unlocked laser focus, just like to get where he needed to go. Prioritize and execute. That was one of the principles that the more I thought about it, it just, it made a lot of sense to me. You know, here I was, mid thirties, really effectively starting over and having to catch up. Maximizing the potential of that change, you know, that was something that Extreme Ownership allowed me, allowed me to do. My friends, my family, they all saw the change because you know, well, now I was doing something that, you know, that I was meant to do. You know, I, I was playing to, playing to my strengths. Extreme ownership has been you know, fundamentally good in, in every aspect of, you know, of my life and our lives, including our marriage. I have no idea what's gonna happen this next week. One thing I am looking forward to is I don't normally get to be in an environment of, of high performers. You know, people who are driven and they wanna get better and they wanna figure out you know, how to address their weaknesses and get stronger. So the very first night I show up at Muster and I check in at the hotel and I register. And that first night is, is the meet and greet. And there's 900 people there. Of those 900 people, everybody had an opportunity to, to interact with everybody on the Echelon Front team. Not little meaningless, hey, how are you doing interactions, but full on conversations. And you could tell that everybody on the team took it very personally and it was very important to, to have that presence and to have that one-on-one -on -one interaction. How are you, sir? How are you? I'm like doing very well. Nice to meet you, sir. Joshua Gibson. Yeah, yeah. Right it's on. an honor. Like your guys' principles applied properly in my life, changed everything over the past couple of years. That's cool, but the principles have to be applied by you, so you're the one that's making it happen, man. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Otherwise, it's just a bunch of words on paper. Yeah. Sir? Great to meet you, Joshua. Thanks, an honor. thanks so much Thank for you. being here with us, man. Looking forward to it. Diving deep in this industry for some Thanks okay. for coming out, bro. Thanks for having me. Yeah, right on, right on. Mind a picture? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So the muster was, the experience was indescribable. Morning PT, get back, have a good meal, sit down in the conference area. You're just, you're amped up and ready for the speakers and they just take off and go. Welcome to the muster. It's great to have you here with us in Denver. You've come from all over the United States and countries around the world to get after it with us here. I just want to make clear there'll be no breaks for the next 48 hours. We're going to power through. Stand by to get some. One of the things that impressed me the most, I knew that the type of people that chose to uh, attend muster were almost by default going to be 
aggressive. There are going to be uh, high performers, you know, people who woke up every day and wake up every day to, to get better. And that couldn't have been more accurate. We have 900 leaders here. You represent 51 different industries. So you're from across the United States, countries around the world, and there's a huge amount of experience in this room. And you can learn from that experience. Get to know those around you. Take the knowledge that you learn here from us, from those around you, apply it to your world, and go back and deliver maximum impact. I came away from this experience with so many new contacts and new relationships and made new friends. Like, no small talk. Everybody that I interacted with was capable of having like deep, meaningful, introspective conversation. It was incredibly motivating. We stepped off on that mission into the dark at night, as we had done dozens and dozens of times before. And folks, let me tell you, everything felt wrong from the start. So looking back on the, the full experience, it's difficult to pick a favorite speaker because all of the stories are very, very compelling. But one definitely impacted me the most, and uh, that, was, that was Mike Sorelli's. We felt defeated because we were defeated that night. And we accepted 100% ownership that we had cut corners, we had made bad decisions. No matter how well intended, we didn't follow the standard. We're lucky we did not lose a seal. In fact, I don't understand how we didn't. Even at these higher levels, you have these men that are you know, some, some of the best and the best that are still subject to the rules of having to, you know, to plan, plan for contingencies. You can't cut corners, can't, you know, skip steps. No matter how much you prepare, no matter how tough you think you are, or how good you think you are, sometimes life just happens. You will be tested. Some of you already have. And the challenges that await you in the future, and challenges do await you, won't seem so severe. The closing jujitsu session on Friday night, basically they, they lay out jujitsu mats in you know, a big ballroom. Jocko and Echo and Dean Lister will come out and just talk about some of the, the fundamentals and foundational philosophies of, of jujitsu before breaking up into two separate groups. Uh, there were people of all shapes and sizes, you know, fit, fitness levels. Jocko and Echo instructed on the, the beginner side of it, and that was really cool to see. You think Jocko gets fired up on his podcast, he comes alive. And you can tell that he loves jujitsu. On the advanced side, they were getting after it the whole time. I mean, you look over there and you just see all these tumbling bodies. They're putting some work and some effort in. So, I mean, if uh, you're uh, a jujitsu player and you're wanting to show up and get after it and roll with some people, you've got the opportunity to do that. For those that are, that are thinking about attending muster, I say do it. It's impossible to, uh, to leave muster and not be fired up. I've had to take a, a good long look at myself the past couple of days. I need to own those things that I need to improve on and act. Just decide, make them better. A lot of people throw around that, that things are life-changing. Extreme ownership didn't by itself in a vacuum change my life, but it absolutely gave me the tools that when applied changed my life.